Hello web developers, have you ever found yourself wrestling with user input in your Angular applications? Feeling like you are missing out on something crucial? Well, if you are curious about how Angular 17 is revolutionizing the way we handle user inputs, you are in the right place. User input is the backbone of interactive web applications and getting it right is more important now than ever. Today I will show you just how Angular 17 is making this task not only easier but more powerful. Hi there. I am Ayaz Afar, a seasoned web developer and Angular enthusiast. Over the years, I have designed and developed numerous projects using Angular, experiencing firsthand the evolution of fantastic framework. One project that stands out is an e-commerce platform I worked on where user input was integral to the shopping experience. From advanced search filters to seamless checkout forms, Angular played a pivotal role in making it user-friendly and efficient. And with Angular 17, things have gotten even better. So let's dive in and explore how to master user input with Angular 17. Let's start by understanding the basics of user input in web applications. User input is any data or choices that users provide to your application typically through forms. This includes everything from simple text fields and selections to more complex data like files and dates. Great, now let's set up our Angular environment. First, ensure you have Node.js installed as it is essential for running an Angular project. Then we will install the Angular CLI, which is a powerful command line tool that helps you create and manage Angular applications with ease. To install Angular CLI, open your terminal and type this command npm install dash g at angular slash cli press enter and this will install angular cli globally on your machine allowing you to use it in any project as i already have it installed so i will not run it but i will just show you my angular cli version that is 17 as you can see here further i am using node.js 18.16 and npm 9.5.1 with the angular cli installed let's create a new angular 17 project so for that run the command ng new and project name replacing the project name with your desired project name this command creates a new directory with all necessary files and dependencies for a basic angular app i already have created my angular project so i will not run it so you can go ahead and run it and complete the process after the project is set up and is complete navigate into your project folder using the cd command like cd dash cd space project name and then start the development server with the ng serve command so or before running the server you can open it in your favorite editor i will be using my editor as vs code so you can use whatever you prefer and mostly this command works in computers like like type space type code space dot this will open the vs code in your editor but if it is not working you can directly drag and drop your project folder in your vs code once it is open you will see all of these files in as you see in my left sidebar so after that is done you can type the ng serve command to start the development server this will compile your application and host it locally allowing you to see your changes in the real time there you have it you have successfully set up your angular 17 environment and you are ready to start building your application moving on let's create a basic input form in our angular app we will start by generating a new component for our form in your terminal so for that type this command ng generate c c for component and the name of component input form plus press enter and now type the com okay the component has been generated as you can see a new folder has been created this command generates a new component with all necessary files now open the input form dot component dot html file here we will add a simple form with an input field and submit button so let's do that so type form input button so if you are using vs code this is very nice short uh, method to create multiple inputs so for example if you type form and this angular bracket and then type input that's mean you are going to create a form tag and within the form tag you are going to create input and after that input as a sibling you are going to create a button so if you just press enter then you will see all of those inputs are created just add some enters to make it look good okay in the button i will add the text submit and the type would be submit right and now here i will add a placeholder user input all right and now we are going to 
use ng model but in order to use ng model you have to import the forms module in your module where your component is declared or if you are using standalone components then you can directly go to the com go to your main component that is the input form component and in the imports array you can directly add the forms module in this way in this way the forms module would be directly available to this component now here i can add square bracket and the round bracket ng model and give it a variable that you will define shortly in the ts component user input okay now let's define this property in the ts file so let's do that by default i will give it an empty value and other than that i will also give it a name user input and then i will add the required attribute okay so in this form we are using two-way data binding with ng model which binds the input field to the user input property in our component this makes it easy to track and validate user input next add the on submit method in our form and we will also add the we will also define the on submit function in the ts file so let's do that i will remove the action attribute and instead of that i will add an event submit on submit so it will call the on submit function let's define this missing function in our ts file and now you can here validate or whatever you prefer for now i'm just showing the console log my logs this method simply logs the user input to the console for now in the real world application you would handle this data accordingly to your needs like sending it to a server so let's quickly test it in the browser uh, for that to test it i need to add that component in my app.component.html but before that i need to import the input form component in the module where my app component is declared or if you have the standalone component you can directly import the input form component in your comp okay now this component is available to be used so simply remove whatever you have it have here and add app input form save it and go back to your html and you in the browser you will see that you have an input and, and a submit button now let me just quickly show you the workflow so let's open the inspect element and open the console clear everything and now i will type something hello world okay hit the submit button and you will see the text back in the console so further if you wa don't want to look it inside the console you can simply display the user input value in the ui as well like this user input so in this way you will see that value in the real time for example hello world you can see that the output is updating in real time while you are updating so this is because of the two-way data with basic forms under our belt let's explore more advanced input techniques like file uploads and rich text input these allow for a more dynamic user experience but require careful handling for file uploads angular provides the input element with the type is equal to file attribute that is the default way of uh, using file in html5 so however handling file uploads requires scale careful validation on both client and server sides for security reasons so let me quickly show you the html for the file upload so here instead of having text you can just add file and no need to specify the placeholder now and remove this for now this as well also this now here i here i will add so let me remove this and now here i will add change event is equal to on file selected and pass it the event of this input like this now in your component you would have to define a method like on file selected to process the selected file so let's do that here i have added a method and i know that i will receive an event so i will define that as well so in the event parameter i will add a type event and now here i will store the input in a variable and event dot target dot and i will typecast it to html input element so that i could have all of the suggestions related to the related to the input now i will create a variable to save the file in my variable file is equal to input dot files if there are files then input dot files from zero index would be saved otherwise i will save the null in it now i will check if file is found then we can simply console the information of that file also you can console the entire file object to see what we have in it okay so now let's quickly test it open the inspect element and on the console and select something so let's say i have selected the video and you can see in the console it is showing the name of the file also the entire file object you can look at that we have different 
information like last modified, name, size, type, etc. So for the rich text, you might use a third party library like CK editor. So let me show you the CK editor library. So this is the famous CK editor library that you may try to use it. I also have recorded video how to use it. You can try that as well from my channel. So integrating such libraries in Angular is straightforward, but ensure that they are compatible with Angular 17. Remember when handling complex data types, always prioritize user experience and security. This means validating input rigorously and providing clear feedback to users. Now let's integrate our form with a backend service. To demonstrate, we will send the user input to a mock server. First, ensure that you have HTTP client module imported in your app module if you have. But if you have the, if you are using standalone components, then you can simply go to the app.config file and here you can provide the HTTP client in a different way. That is provide HTTP client. Okay. So in this way, HTTP client would be available throughout your entire application. Once that is done, go to your input form component.ts file. We will inject Angular's, Angular's HTTP client service to send a post request with our form data. So here, uh, as I'm using, using standalone component, so here I can inject the service in this way as well. Private HTTP is equal to inject and give it the name of the service that you want to inject okay now we have the http service to use now we can go to the on submit let me revert everything back from file to text input type text so that i could show you what we will be doing with that okay so now go back to the ts file and define the user input again like before and give it a default value now in the on submit file select we don't need it anymore so on submit i will add this dot http dot post and here you can add the url of your server https your backend api.com slash submit and pass an object and in that object you will specify the fields that you want to send user input okay now this post method will return you an rxjs observable so you can subscribe to it like that and you can pass it an object that will receive two callback functions so with the property next and error and in the next you will show the uh, success message and in the error section you will show you the you will show the error so this sends the user input to your backend api and handles the response so remember to implement error handling and provide feedback to the user like confirmation messages or error alerts testing and debugging are crucial in ensuring your forms work correctly angular provide tools like jasmine and karma for unit testing and protractor for end-to-end -end testing when testing forms check for proper data binding validation and submission behavior for debugging angular's developer tools in the browser can be incredibly helpful they allow you to inspect component states and track down issues common issues might include incorrect data binding validation errors or issues with http requests always start by checking your console for errors and reviewing your code for types or logical errors to recap we have covered a lot today we started with creating a basic user input form in angular 17 then moved on to more advanced techniques like file uploads and rich text we also in integrated these forms with backend services and discussed important aspects like error handling and user feedback. Lastly, we touched on testing and debugging strategies to ensure our forms are robust and user friendly. Remember, these techniques are not just about getting the job done. They are about creating seamless, engaging experiences for your users. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial helps you in Angular projects. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more Angular insights. Happy coding. Thank you.